we move to mlango kubwa oh wow okay that's the other exactly. side <laughs> <laughs> When I was in third year, mm. I got married. Mm -hmm. Okay. A life event. Exactly. <laughs> That's a life event. Early? <laughs> very early. Very early. So very early. Mm. Um, and uh, I started dating somebody and mm. then were like, you know, I, I, I keep referring to my consciousness. Mm. I was like, you know, we're dating. I love you. You know, mm. what next is there? Come, mm. Let's, mm. let's do this thing. Mm. And I got married. Mm. Um, and then I was also conscious not to get a child early. Mm. So family planning mm. stayed on. Mm. And now when I knew that I was about to finish my medical degree, mm. I'm like now I think I can take care of a family. Mm. So I got my child when I was in my fifth year. A son my daughter? firstborn daughter. Mm. Yeah. Mm. She's now 25. Wow. Exactly. Mm. She's the one in medical school. Mm. So we got her then. Mm. Then I finished medical school. Mm. And now I had pressure of family. Are you, are you seeing I how am, these things work? I am imagining. Yeah. You, you, how old are you then? Well, I finished, uh, I was 25. Mm. I finished medical school when I was 26. Mm. And I did my internship when I was 27. Mm. So my daughter was born when I was 26. When you were 26? Yeah. The, the marriage, is it is it like a full, full on cultural, full, like the entire process? Full on cultural. Mm. So uh, when I was in uh, my... I think it was now fourth. Mm -hmm. We went to her family mm -hmm. and we did the full thing. Mm. Mbuzi, kila kitu, mm -hmm. I took my family. Mm. But I remember mm. uh, it wasn't easy because mm. um, my family was not, at that point, didn't think it was the right thing to do. Oh, your family? Yes. Right. My mother. Mm. My father was really kind of a cool guy. Mm. You, know, you know, he let you do what you wanted to mm. do. Mm. You know, mm. uh, you know, may his soul rest in eternal peace. He was mm. kind of a... He, he, I, we, in a way, our family took up his, what did I say, lucky go lucky kind of, mm. happy go lucky kind of lifestyle. Like he never really stressed about things. Mm. He would do things that you are, if it's okay, do it. Mm. If you like to do it, do it. Mm. So I was in that kind of space. Mm. But my mother is the more, uh, what did I say, disciplinarian, forward thinking kind of person like you know we need to do this and this mm. that's where we all went to school mm. yeah who, my father who, who did you take after <laughs> <laughs> I, the, more, the most <laughs> I, I think um my brother mm. who is the vice chancellor of the university of nairobi yes i think he took more from my mother okay he's he's a planner right he is very purposeful. Mm. He'll be like, you, you know, this is how you do things. If you mm. don't do them this way, mm. then mm. for me, I let things happen mm. kind of thing. I am. So I think I took more from my, uh, my mother shaped my discipline. Yeah. But my character is more, don't worry too much. If you can do it, do it. If you can do it, it's fine. Mm. You know, mm. I don't worry. Mm. I really worry. Mm. So, and that is more my father. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. 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 So, um, uh, based on this, mm. I uh, just to uh, you know get back to where we were. Mm. So, I mean, third going to fourth, mm. I have decided I'm going to marry this girl, mm. and my mother sends my brother to me. Mm. My mother sends my sister to me. Mm. My mother tries to talk to me, mm. and I'm like, no, I have decided this is what I want to do. Mm. And my sister cried because she thought I'm going to drop out of school. Oh. Obviously. Yeah. I mean, you're yeah. marrying. Yeah. What next? Yeah. And at that point, um, we had no, as I said, private students. Mm. It was all regular. So mm. the government is paying your fees. Mm. The government then, but you would need to pay, I think we used to pay 16000 mm. mm. So, um, and then the rest of the money, you would have to apply to the government yeah. for a loan. Help. You know, help. Yeah. Uh, and then you, it gets paid to the university. Mm. But there was a fee you could not apply, you needed to pay. Mm. It was about 16,000. Mm. And that was a real struggle for it's my all, parents. It was a real struggle. Mm. I mean, mm. even when I went to Nyeri High mm. School, mm. my mother could not, the fees was 1,270. Mm. I've never remembered. Mm. I've never forgotten to mm. enter high mm. school. Mm. She didn't have 30 shillings mm. out of the 1,270. Mm. And I couldn't enter school mm. because she couldn't get the 30 bob. 
and there are also other siblings, I mean, who, who also need to be in school. They're in school. Some yeah. of them are much yeah. older than me. Yeah. So she got some money, the 30 bob, from one of uh, wow. my cousin's mother. Wow. The, yeah. You remember the cousin I talked about? Yeah. You know, the world goes like that. The yeah. same cousin I talked about. Yeah. We were going to Nyeri High School together. together. The mother had some 30 bob because Extra. there are some books mm. which are not available. And therefore, mm. she, the school said, these are not available. Mm. The atlas and the dictionary. Mm. So it's okay. You'll bring them later. So that 30 bob, she gave to my mother. Wow. So that I got into Nyeri High. Wow. So basically, um, uh, now the 16,000 in campus is difficult mm. to pay. Mm. And I'm saying I'm going to get married. You know, mm. like what's going on? Yeah. But finally, because again of my consciousness, mm. I say, no, we have to do this. Mm. So, and that's the other thing about my family. Mm. We don't have, you know, we don't force people to do mm. things they don't want to do. Mm. And finally, when you've decided, mm. we are there for you. Yeah. There's no like... You decided, me, I didn't agree there for your own. Right. So my family took me right. to what we call Rorashio, yeah. to the traditional wedding. Yes. And we did it. And I remember the in-laws wondering, this is a student. I mean, what's, how are you going to money? They yeah. said, no, we'll do it. Yeah. So we did it. Yeah. It is only when I finished campus. Yeah. And now in 1997, yeah. when I was now finishing my internship, yeah. that we actually did a church wedding. Okay. But b before that, I had already done the rights for the marriage that's that's great and the yeah. baby the firstborn had your daughter had arrived at the time yes okay yes uh, how was ra raising a child when you're still in school happening so, for you so um remember now i got married mm -hmm. and therefore and i was living on campus yes okay wait, wait, which halls are you living in by the way i'm living in the halls in kenyatta which oh. were on the side of the medical training college, Kem yeah, uh -huh. KMTC. Uh -huh, KMTC. Uh, and I, was, I remember I was in Hall C, I've never forgotten. Right. So that's where I was. Now you can't bring your wife there. Hall C are the ones facing Bagathi? Uh, no, they are like, so the Bagathi one yeah. was, I think we used to call it Siberia or something, because it was too far. <laughs> that's a funny name. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I was, because now I was in third year, that's yeah. where you lived when you are in, when you just got in, okay. card, yeah. by the time you go to fourth, yeah. you're promoted to these ones that are closer to the road. Oh, the ones close, the close ones closer to the road. Okay. And then you have your oh, own. That's a promotion. <laughs> that's a promotion, you yeah. know. But yeah. now you can't bring. Yeah. 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 To, so, you can, yeah. It's a boys' space. Yes. You're not, and <laughs> yeah. you're not allowed to come and so meet there with people. Mm. So I actually went and looked for initially when I when I when I was we were dating. I didn't have a place to live. You know, yeah. my father is living in his kiosk by the roadside. Mm. There's none of my relatives who are living near, mm. you know, campus. Mm. Mm. So I went and um, got an SQ in Kileleshwa. Oh. I was paying 2,000 bob. And I was, uptown, uptown, early enough. Yeah, eh? Uptown, you know? <laughs> you know, <laughs> fake, it till you, from fake it till you make it. So, and, <laughs> so I was in this place. Yeah. Uh, but how did I used to pay? You mm. know, I was also doing some things. I remember... At some point, uh, I was organizing, I was a student leader, mm. uh, the Association of Medical Students, University mm -hmm. of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So we'd organize a trip. I remember one time we went to Zambia, oh. and then you get sponsored, so you have some per diem, so you have some money. Okay. You pay this and that, mm. then we're doing some, I don't even know I used to get money, mm. but then I used to make mandazi. Oh, wow. Yeah, then I would sell to my father at his kiosk. Mm. Then you'd sell to all the mechanics who used to eat at his kiosk in Gara. You know, this is interesting. There's a lot of enter, enter, en enterprise spirit that is, exactly. that is right there. I would make them in my... My brother was a tutorial fellow mm -hmm. at the University of Nairobi mm. then, the same brother now who is a vice chancellor. Mm. So I would... He had a one-roomed house mm. and I would live with him or sleep on the couch. Mm. He had his bed mm. and he allowed me to use his electricity mm. and stuff. Mm. And I'd wake up very early in the morning at mm. four, mm. make mandazi, mm. pack them, mm. uh, and then I would walk all the way to Parklands mm -hmm. and deliver them to my father. And then my father would pay me and he would sell them to all the guys who used to come for Mandazi and Chai. Oh, wow. So out of that mm. is how I managed to, when my brother got married, mm. I moved out of his room now. Now it yeah. was too small for us. Yeah. And I got this SQ. SQ in Kilelesha. Yes. Mm. But now when we started living with my girlfriend then, mm. Mm. Um, uh, Kilesho was a bit, I, I think I had overstretched myself. <laughs> when the vegetables were more expensive, yeah. you know, the eggs were more expensive. You started the highlight. Exactly. <laughs> so I decided this can't work. Yeah. So we moved to Mulango Kubwa. Oh, wow. Okay, that's the other exactly. side. <laughs> <laughs> Just next to Madare North. Oh, you yeah. Know? Yeah, yeah. Just next there. Yeah. So you, I remember very well, you used to go through a, a pub. You know, there's no entrance to the yeah. bar. So you go yeah. through a bar. Yeah. 
then you go and then I remember the block used to live in was called Jewa Plaza. Mm. If the other day actually when they are looking for it to so see I can still recognize it. <laughs> yeah. Living on fourth floor, yeah. shared bathrooms and everything. Yeah. Now I was paying 1,500. Okay. So we lived there. Yeah. Until my wife got threatened one day. I was still in campus, by mm. the way. Mm. So I would, every Friday I would come, take the bus, mm. uh, come, mm. stay then Monday, go back to campus. Mm. And uh, one time she got threatened mm. by some, you know, their boys mm. all around saying Unaringa. Mm. So I thought this is not a very safe place. Mm. So we moved to Umoja 2 mm. near Kayole. Okay. That whole field where Mama Luce is was just mm. a field. Mm. So we moved there. Mm. And that's where we stayed until I finished medical school. So mm. even when we got our firstborn daughter, mm. we were living there. Mm. Uh, and my daughter was born at MP Shah. The lecturer who was teaching me obstetrics and gynecology, mm was very kind, it was called uh, Dr. Machoki, mm. was very kind to take care of my wife. Your wife and child. And child, and mm. did not charge me anything. Oh. Uh, pediatrician, Professor Were, mm. was then also my lecturer. He took care of my baby, oh, did not nice. charge me anything. Nice. So the only fee I paid was the anesthetist. And All then right. I got my sister to pay for me. So, uh, yeah. so it means that you are open enough also with them to yeah. let them know this is... We were, yeah, we were, yeah. We were good yeah. friends, yeah. you know. Was the girl also from campus? No. All right. No, okay. she was not. Okay. Uh, she was not from campus. Okay. She All was right. in the hair and beauty industry. Okay. All right. So we got our firstborn daughter mm -hmm. and then now uh, we lived there. Mm. And then when I finished um, medical school, mm. I became an intern. Mm -hmm. Now I'm giving you this story mm. because you asked whether I specialize. Yeah. So yeah. this is the exactly. round way. Yeah. So now I have responsibility. Mm. And therefore, I now work with the government mm. during internship. Mm -hmm. I'm earning 11,000. Where did they put the word? I went to Kenyatta, Kenyatta. Because again, mm. I had a family. Mm. Ideally, if mm. I didn't have a family, I could end up in wherever. Wherever. Trukana, mm. Kakamega, Mandera. Mandera. Mm. But now I have a family. Mm. So I pleaded with mm. the placement mm. to go to Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. So I stayed in Kenyatta. Mm. We moved to an intern's house, mm -hmm. now with my family, now mm. from Momoja. Mm -hmm. Now we came to Uptown, mm -hmm. near Kenyatta National mm -hmm. Hospital. Mm -hmm. And uh, we stayed there until I finished my internship. How long? Six one months? Year. Or a year. One year. Okay. Now, you realize that now because I have a family, mm. I have to feed them. Yes. So I now started looking for a private job because yeah. what the government was paying me, which was 11,000, mm. was not going to be enough. Mm. So if I had wanted to continue to specialize, mm. ideally the government needed you to stay in the public sector. Mm. Mm. Then you are posted, mm. and then after two years, you then come back to specialize mm. Mm. when you're still being paid your salary, yeah. but the government is sponsoring you. Yeah. I didn't have that luxury of staying in the public, and therefore I moved to... A decision needed to be made. A decision needed to be made. Yeah. So yeah. I looked for a private job. Mm.